We mentioned the casinos uh, responding to some of this optimism on China lockdown and talking more about the pandemic's effect on China is Eunice Yoon, who joins us this morning from Beijing with a look at the economic impact of those restrictions. Hi, Eunice. Hey, guys. Well, I'm on a street with a lot of little shops here in Beijing, and the sign behind me is becoming a very familiar sight. It says, closed until further notice because of the pandemic. So uh, be Beijing is not officially in lockdown, but it definitely feels like it. Streets are very, very quiet, even though it's a Friday night. Uh, most people have been mandated to work from home, offices, uh, shopping malls, Everything has been shut. Um, and then it's also really difficult to get around because public transport as well as taxis are heavily restricted. Now, uh, the most uh, heavily affected really have been a lot of the small businesses. And these small businesses are major employers in the city. One of the reasons why the leadership here has been really concerned about jobs. Uh, so uh, they, we've, I've been talking to a lot of little street vendors. Uh, some have been doing whatever they can to try to survive. And that generally has meant that we've seen curbside um, a lot of um, small vendors uh, putting whatever they can, uh, sometimes even entire spreads of their menus, um, trying to sell uh, their goods on the sidewalk. Uh, one noodle seller who uh, normally would be bustling and busy uh, in an office tower said that uh, she was only able to sell about 5 percent of her uh, normal sales. Uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of relief for these people. In fact, today, Beijing said that there were only 51 new infections. However, the restrictions just keep coming. And the one that a lot of people here are talking about now is that China has said that it's going to bar overseas travel for uh, many of its citizens if, if for, because it's, it's mainly focused on non-essential travel. And uh, the government actually had denied today reports that some of their authorities have actually snipped up and cut up some passports of Chinese travelers who've returned to the country when they came, um, when they, once they arrived at the airport. Uh, Eunice, we're seeing headlines over here. Uh, we're seeing predictions from companies that the lockdowns get lifted in June. We're hearing, uh, seeing headlines about victory over the virus being announced in the weeks to come. Is that being telegraphed uh, to local residents in any way? It is in uh, um, that we've, we've heard from a city official, say, in Shanghai, have uh, floated the idea that maybe by uh, sometime in May uh, there could be an end to uh, this lockdown period. Uh, also, there's been projections for possibly in June, just because the numbers do keep going down. But it's still very difficult to say. Uh, for example, here in Beijing, there have been many more buildings that are going into lockdown. And the way the lockdown period works is that if one positive case is in your building, then the building is locked down for 20 days. And if there are any other new infections that come up within that period, another 10 days is added to that building. So you could see how the 20 days plus the 10 days plus another 10 days, it really adds up for a long period of time, which is why the whole city is on edge and people are stockpiling.